The Open Porch Cafe opened on Saturday, March 5th, with this being their first store in Lynchburg. The first two stores they opened were in Florida. They specialize in all your southern favorites, from sweet tea to grandma's donuts. So we're here to get a little taste of the South. The unique relationship between a father and son is special in different ways. For this father and son, their connection is through their cafe. It was basically a combination of me and my dad. Um, my dad had run this tea business um, for the ca past couple of years to his food and beverage places. And he's been running food and beverage places for the past 25 years. And uh, it was basically this past May, I just finally came to him and said, hey, this is something we need to do. We've got to finally open up this storefront. We've been talking about it for a while, but never really did anything about it. So finally just came to a point where I said, this has got to, this has got to happen, we got to do this now. So I moved down to Florida in May and we started the whole process, so. Every cafe needs to stand out from the rest. For Open Porch, they wanted to take a different approach. No one does what we do. We're our own microbrew southern tea. It's kind of like a coffee shop where they do their own roasting, except we make our own tea. We, we blend it ourselves, we bag it ourselves, um, and we brew it ourselves fresh every morning and every day. And so no one else does that. Sweet tea is always an afterthought. It's always something that, oh, I guess we have, I guess we have to have sweet tea on the menu, but it's something we want to make our main purpose. Um, I got this sweet tea, I got the darkest roast, which is like the most caffeine, and I got the strawberries in it, and it was really good. I ordered the Kraft unsweetened tea. Um, I'm from Denver, so I like unsweetened tea. <laughs> the Kraft one, I think? It was like the original They said one. it's their best seller, yeah, the best so I went with his opinion. Promotional ideas for new businesses are the key to their success. For Foley, he reached out to his fans through his anonymous social media account. We have definitely exceeded my expectations. I, I knew uh, through people I know and everything I could get a lot of people here. I run the Twitter account Ring by Spring and I knew I could use that to get people here. And I, I used to work for the Falwells and uh, through administration. So I knew I could get people here, but far and away exceeded my expectations. I, I thought I'd know everyone that came in the grand opening. I knew maybe 10% of the people and it was just a blessing to see everyone posting about it and saying such great things about it. So it was really just an awesome experience and uh, couldn't, can't complain. I saw like a friend post about it and then I followed like what the new opening was and thought we should check it out. Every time a customer walks in, they are greeted by a familiar sound, welcome home, which is the idea that Foley wants for his cafe. <laughs> We want it to feel like you're going home and you're going to your grandma's house and getting a glass of sweet tea. We want that, that nostalgia to come in your head when you came in here. And so we, we experimented with the word porch with a lot of different ways. We won the word porch in there. And finally, just the most inviting one we came up with was open porch. We just think that had a nice ring to it. It was just the best overall name. So we ended up going with that one. Um, I really liked it. It's a very quiet atmosphere. The music is great. We were actually just talking about that earlier. I think it feels really southern to me too, being from the south. Like, this definitely feels like you're coming home. From the signature blend southern craft tea to their grilled cheese and turkey and cheese sliders, it's time for this reporter to put it to the test. For ABC 13, I'm David Scoggins.